Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. It's another Friday five minute make today. So today we're going to be looking at cutting a really pretty aperture and then just placing some beautiful colors behind it. So I've chosen to use this die set for my aperture. This is from the Floral Folk Art from the Textures Collection. You'll find that linked below. It's really beautiful. As you can see, it cuts out perfectly. I'm just going to pop all the little pieces out. I've actually cut this directly into a card base rather than a separate panel because I just find that this gives it more of a flawless look. So there it is with all the pieces popped out. Now that's beautiful on its own. If you're doing something like a wedding invitation, that would be absolutely stunning. But what I've done is I've used the other die that's in the set, and this is just the outline die. It's slightly larger than the circle, so I've got myself a piece of plain cardstock. This is onto some stamping cardstock, and I'm just going to create a coloured background. Now I'm going to do that with these four colours. So I've got Rusty Hinge, Fossilised Amber, Peeled Paint, and Uncharted. Charted Mariner in the Distress Oxide range. If you don't have Distress Oxide, you can use inks, you could use uh, Spectrum Noir inks, you know, whatever ink pads you happen to have at home. Even if you don't have ink pads, think about maybe something like um, your sprays instead. You could use those. And rather than going in and blending with my brushes or my foam applicators as I normally would, I'm actually going to be used just swiping the ink pads. It's so much quicker to apply the ink this way. It gets a little bit messy on the fingers, but we're not worried because we're not going to see this completely. So what I tend to do is just go like that and then I take one or two of the colours that are similar and I just roughly blend down there and give the brush a little bit of a wipe afterwards. So once that's dry you want to layer this behind there so you can see you've got that lovely coloured aperture just peeking through. I really love that. Now you could have this so that you put some foam on it so that it's slightly raised up. That looks really cool or you can just put it completely down flat. This part is up to you. I would suggest though, you just put your glue around the edge of the aperture. So just around the very, very edge here, almost touching those little spaces because the circle is only a few millimeters wider. There we go. And I'm just going to put a few little dots inside on some of the larger areas just so that it doesn't kind of bulge in the middle and that it does lay reasonably flat. So placing that over the top there, just fold that down and make sure that I'm happy with the position. And again, press that down and make sure that dries fully. Now for a sentiment, I've got one of my texture sentiments here, again from the same collection, the Floral Folk Art Collection. This sentiment says, good vibes only. So let's just pop that out. And you'll notice that this is actually quite fine um, and quite detailed. So when I lay it on my panel, it's not going to show up, as you can see. So I need to put a border on that. But this guy doesn't actually come with a border. But I've got a really easy way for you to create a solid piece. If you just pop your die face down onto a spare piece of cardstock, take yourself a pencil and just draw around the die, not going into too much of the detail, just lightly with the pencil. So only around the outside, we're not going around any of the middle pieces or middle areas. And I'm holding the pencil quite upright so it doesn't get too close to the very edge. And you can do this with absolutely any detailed die if you want a drop shadow for it. So you see there that I've now got myself penciled a drop shadow for this particular die. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out with my fussy cutting scissors, but I'm going to go ever so slightly outside of that line by just a few millimetre. And I'm not going to be too fussy about it either. Now I've cut round that. I've still got my pencil lines, but I'm not worried at the moment because I'm simply going to add some ink to it. So I'm going to take one of the colours that I swiped on the background and I'm just going to again swipe all over this. Now I'm not being too fussy again. Um, it's not using as much ink as you'd expect it to be. It's just distress oxides are extremely juicy and the, um, the pigments just sort of sit on top so it looks like it's really fully saturated with ink. So I've gone with Uncharted Mariner there. I would definitely be spritzing that and smooching some paper into it so as not to waste the excess there. And we'll see that our die cut just sits beautifully over the top. So now we've got our drop shadow that fits perfectly 
and that's going to sit really nicely on the front of our card there making that sentiment really pop so with just a small scattering of some sequins that are color coordinated with the green that's in the background i've got myself a super quick card i hope you enjoyed that tip about giving yourself a drop shadow by tracing around the die and i hope to see you again here next week next friday for another five minute make Thank you.